Welcome to this calculus tutorial. Today we're going to solve a problem about related rates. It's a topic in calculus that trips up a lot of people. It's essentially word problems with things that are changing and moving and rates that are in fact related. So the problem here, a 13 foot ladder is leaning against a house when its base starts to slide away. By the time the base is 12 feet from the house, the base is moving at a rate of five feet per second. Find the rate at which the ladder is falling down the side of the house. So let's start by drawing out a picture. So we have, it says a 13 foot ladder leaning against a house. So if I have a house here and the ground is here and I have my 13 foot ladder leaning up against like this. Now we also know that it gives us a few different details. So I'm going to call this side here from the top of the ladder to the bottom of the base of the house. I'm going to call that Y and Y is a certain height. We don't actually know how tall Y is. So I'm going to put a question mark there. Then we also have how far away the ladder is from the house itself. I'm going to call that X. And this one here says that it's 12 feet from the house. So I can actually label that as 12 feet. And then we know that the ladder itself is 13 feet. And that ladder is this diagonal because that's what's actually leaning up against the house. Now I'm going to start putting in my rates. Now these are how fast are these distances changing with time. And so with related rates, we often use implicit differentiation and we differentiate with respect to time. So right here, X is changing with respect to time at a rate of five feet per second. And that's given to us right in the problem. And then here, this change in Y with respect to time is actually what we're asked to find. And I'm just going to circle that here in a different color. So we remember that that's the one that we're searching for. And now the ladder itself, does it change length? No, it doesn't. So the rate here is zero because this ladder does not ever change length. So the rate at which it's changing is zero. That won't always be the case. Most of the time you won't have one that's zero, but in this case we do, which will simplify things. So the next step that we need to do is figure out an equation that relates all three sides and their lengths together. So we know that with a right triangle, we can use the equation X squared plus Y squared equals Z squared. And that's Pythagorean theorem, right? Something we learned probably a long time ago, but we need to now use implicit differentiation with respect to time. So I'm going to differentiate this. I get two X, times then dx dt, remember I'm differentiating with respect to time, 2y times dy dt, and then that equals 2z times dz dt. Noticing a pattern? And now I need to see if I have all of my variables to go ahead and solve for my dy dt, the one that I'm actually trying to find. Now I want to make one note before we go on. This dx dt that we have here, the five feet per second, that is positive. And it's positive because the ladder is sliding away from the base of the building and it's getting larger. Positive means increasing and that distance is in fact increasing. Now this dy dt, because the ladder is sliding down the house, we would expect this dy dt to be negative because it's decreasing in its length. So that'll be a really good check for us at the end. All right, so back to the task at hand. Do we have all the information that we need? We have X, that's 12 feet. DX DT is five feet per second. Do we have Y? No, we do not, but we can find it. So let's go off to the side and do a little side problem. And we'll use Pythagorean theorem again, but we'll use it this time to solve for Y. So our X is 12 feet. So we have 12 squared. Y is what we're searching for. And then Z is 13 feet. So we have 13 squared. And when I do this, I get Y equals five feet. So that is what we need to do. We need to make sure we have all of the pieces before we can start plugging things in. DY DT is what we need. And then over here, Z is 13 feet and DZ DT is zero. So now we have everything that we need. Let's go ahead and start plugging some things in. All right, so X we said was 12, DX DT is five, our Y we just solved for is five, and then our DY DT is actually what we're trying ultimately to figure out. Our Z is 13, and then our DZ DT is zero, 
And because that's zero, that cancels out the entire right side. When I go ahead and multiply things out and move things around, I end up getting a dy dt of negative 12 feet per second. And like we expected, it is negative because that distance along the side of the house is decreasing, the ladder is falling, and so that distance is decreasing with time, which makes sense that it's a negative number. So with these related rates problems, draw a picture, it's often helpful, start labeling everything that you know, and then figure out an equation that relates everything. Go ahead and differentiate implicitly that equation with respect to time, plug everything in, and solve for the unknown variable. Good luck.